This is an Arizona's family news update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's family newsroom. An update on our COVID-19 here across the state. The Arizona Department of Health Services has our weekly average positivity rate at 5%. Johns Hopkins seven day rolling average a little lower at uh, lowered today at 6.8%. We've added another 519 cases to our total and that uh, now pushes us well past the 200,000 mark. Sadly, we've added another 49 deaths, pushing us even closer to the grim milestone of 5,000 deaths. However, the health department says we are seeing fewer COVID-19 patients in the hospital, in ICU beds, and using ventilators. Some scary moments for about 100 people this morning as they woke up to flames and rushed out of their apartments. This after an early morning fire ripped through a three-story building in Phoenix. Now more than 50 people have been displaced. The fire started at about 3.30 this morning at the Flats apartment complex near 19th Avenue and Indian School Road. The good news is nobody was hurt and the fire is still unknown and under investigation. Governor Doug Ducey has ordered all flags at half staff in honor of the Tohono O'odham Nation police officer killed in the line of duty. It's still unclear how Brian Brown died, but Border Patrol says he was killed near the Desert Diamond Casino near the town of Y, Arizona, when he was trying to arrest a suspect who was driving erratically. That suspect is now in the hospital. Arizona basketball icon Lute Olson is being remembered in Tucson and across the country. The Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame is reacting this morning. Its president recognizing Olson as amongst college basketball's all time best. Olson passed away yesterday at the age of 85. He led the Cats to Final Fours in the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s, winning a national title in 1997. Well, we've got one more day and of excessive heat warning here in the Valley High today. 112 degrees, slight chance of storms today, but a better chance over the weekend ahead, especially Saturday night and during the day on Sunday. We also get treated to the 90s on Sunday. All right, we'll take it. Thank you, April. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Have a great day.